this is pretty awesome. And I guess like a little scary at the same time. He is also known for his eccentric personality and outspoken views on various topics. Mini GPT-4 is an open source project that can understand images, generate recipes for images, identify problems in the images, and give potential solutions. You can even create working code for websites just from an image. Now we can do all this and for absolutely free. These are all the features that GPT-4 is supposed to have. But we are still waiting for OpenAI to release these features. There is a new open source project called Mini GPT-4. It's presented in this paper titled Enhancing Visual Language Understanding with Advanced Large Language Models. It's a very innovative work in which they combine a large language model with an image understanding model to get some absolutely amazing results. The great part is there is a demo available that you can run online. Before looking at the demo, let's understand how the model works. It has uh, two different parts. So the first one is a pre-trained large language model. In this case, they're using Wikunia, which is a powerful open source model trained on ChatGPT's data. The second part is a virtual transformer or a visual encoder. It's also pre-trained. They are using Blip2. Here is how it works. You have an input image that's fed into the visual encoder and that visual encoder produces output which is fed into a single linear layer. Output from this single linear projection layer along with human description is fed into a cornea for fine tuning. So after fine tuning, they are using a second stage of text prompt where the human will ask a question and the assistant is supposed to generate a response. So for example, for this one, uh, based on the trained model, the output is the logo design is simple and minimalistic with a pink line drawing of the flamingo standing on one leg in the water. The approach they took for training and fine tuning is very simple, but the results are pretty amazing. In this case, they did training in two stages. So in the first stage, they used roughly 5 million text image pairs and trained the model for 10 hours using four A100 GPUs. Now, according to the author, Wakunia is able to understand the images but the description that is generated by Wakunia after this first stage was not really impressive. That's why they did a second stage of fine tuning where they only used 3500 text image pairs, but they were really high quality. And the description was generated by uh, the model itself and a chat GPT. Now using this second stage highly curated dataset, they were able to improve the performance and this fine tuning took only seven minutes on a single A100 GPU. The second stage data used for fine tuning the model is available. So let's have a quick look at it before looking at some demos. If you download the data file, so there are two things. One is this JSON file, which has the description of the images that were provided to the model, and then the images themselves in this folder. So let's look at a couple of images. So I randomly selected one of the images so here's the image, and I looked at the ID and the JSON file. So the description of the image is, this image shows a view of the harbor, of a harbor with a large cruise ship docked in the foreground. So I guess like it's talking about this cruise ship. Several smaller boats and yachts are also docked around it. In the background, there is a large cliff with a city built into the side of it. So I guess like this is the cliff, and then it's probably the city here. Okay. So this is how the data was collected for training. Now let's look at the actual abilities of the models. The demo for this project is available and you can actually play around with it. So they have provided a demo. I'm going to put a link to the demo. I uh, just want to notice one thing that they have three different, or actually four different uh, links that you can use. So if one of them is not working or it's busy, you can use another one. So for our first test, I'm going to use this image that was shown in the demo of GPT-4 and see uh, how good this model is. So first, uh, you can click on this button or this place, or you can drag an image, upload that, right? And then say, upload and start chat. All right, so it's going to, I am actually in the creator right now. So 176, this is gonna take a while, but let's look at some other demos. So let's look at some of the abilities of this model. Uh, for example, this model can generate very detailed description of the image. So here is an image uh, of a city center. There are people on bikes and there, there is a clock tower, right? Uh, so we ask it, describe this image 
as detailed as possible. And the answer is the image shows a busy city street with a clock tower in the background. The street is lined with shops and restaurants on both sides. There are several motorcycles parked on the side of the road and the people are walking down the street. The clock tower has a large clock face with the Rome, uh, Roman numerals and a small spiral on top. Okay, let's see if I actually... Yeah, there is actually a small spiral on top. Okay, the sky is clean and blue and there are a few clouds in the distance. Uh, yeah, there are definitely some clouds. So it's actually able to generate very detailed descriptions of the images. Well, this is great, but can it understand humor? Uh, so here we have a meme and we simply ask the model, explain why this meme is funny. Uh, so we have a dog and then the text is Monday, just Monday, okay? All right, so now the model response is, this meme is funny because it shows a dog laying on the, on the floor with its head resting on its paws as if it's tired or sleeping. All right, then it goes on. The caption, Monday, just Monday. So it's actually able to extract text from the image. Uh, this is pretty neat. So the caption adds to the humor by suggesting that the dog is feeding the same way as many people do on Mondays, which are often considered to be the most dreaded day of the week. So the model is aware that uh, most people don't like Mondays. And the meme is relatable and humorous, making it a popular one among internet users. This is pretty crazy. Now, it can even identify unusual contents in the images. So for example, here we have a cactus in the middle of a frozen lake and the ice sheets on it, right? So uh, we ask it, describe the image. The response is, the image shows a cactus plant standing in the middle of a frozen lake. The cactus is, is, cactus is surrounded by large ice crystals that have formed on the surface of the water, right? So it's able to understand the image pretty good. And then we ask it, is the image common in real world, right? So it says, no, this image is not common in the real world. While it is possible for cacti to grow in the cold climates, it is rare to see one standing in the middle of a frozen lake. Additionally, the formation of large ice crystals on the surface of the water is also not a common occurrence. Okay, then this image is likely a digital creation or manipulation. So um, it's actually able to understand that these are unusual things in the image. Uh, this is pretty awesome. And I guess like a little scary at the same time. Now, the next one is actually um, derived from the demo that was shared by the OpenAI team when they were releasing or announcing the release of GPT-4. Um, so GPT-4 supposedly, supposedly has the ability to convert a mock drawing of a website into working HTML code, but in this case, this model can actually do it today. So for example, this user uh, uploaded um, the, this mock representation of a website and the prompt is I write brief HTML or JavaScript to turn this mock up into a colorful website, right? And here's the code. And based on that code, you can have a working website like this. Well, that's not it. It can actually identify problems from photos and potentially provide solutions. So let's say you have upload this image um, of the leaves with a small fungi and you ask it what is the issue with my plants what should I do now so it goes um, the image shows a leaf with um, brown spots on it spots are like, likely caused by a fungal infection which can be treated with a, fung a fungicide it's important to identify the type of fungus causing the spots in order to choose the appropriate treatment right and then it goes and actually uh, give a potential solution now, here is another one. Uh, there is a washing machine and foam is coming out of it. So why this happens and how to fix it. So the image shows a washing machine with a large amount of bubbles coming out of it. It ha it appears that the washing machine is overflowing with soap. Uh, so what if you have a pretty nice picture and you want to write a poem based on that, right? So it can actually do that because it has a large language model that understands images. Now, here is the image. Can you write a beautiful poem? about this image and it goes on to say a man sits on a hill with his dog by the, his side the sun sits behind them casting a golden light the city below is bustling but they are at peace enjoying the moment uh, in each other's em embrace that's, that's pretty awesome i think it's pretty nice but that's not it you can actually provide an image and say um write a, a master rap song 
but why stop is uh, poems? You can actually give it an image and ask it to write a story around it. So, so this will be especially helpful for a children's book. So you can use something like Mid Journey to create images and then use this to uh, write stories. So let's say uh, here is the story based on the image. Once upon a time, there was a brown bear and white rabbit and a black cat who lived in a forest, right? So uh, I guess like the cat is not really black, but kind. Of, they were good friends and loved to spend time together. One day, they decided to have a picnic under a tree. The bear brought some honey. The rabbit brought some carrots, and the cat brought some milk. Okay, let's see. Uh, I, I guess like there are some cookies. Well, that's not it. You can actually use it for product advertisement. So, for example, you have created a couple of new mugs, and then we can ask it based on this, give us a description, right? So, introducing a new line of mugs featuring adorable cat designs could actually recognize that there are cats on it. Uh, these mugs are perfect for coffee lovers and cat enthusiasts alike. Made from high quality ceramic, each mug is durable and dishwasher safe. This is pretty awesome. It can actually also recognize people. So for example, who is the person in the image? The person in the image is Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. I guess it's uh, not fully updated because it should say Twitter as well. He's known for his work in the fields of electric cars, space exploration, and renewable energy. He is also known for his eccentric personality and outspoken views on various topics. Now, one example that I found is, um, I guess, like, very interesting and a little intriguing is its ability to comment on images, not only describe them, but you can actually kind of form opinions around it. So let's say uh, we have this image, somebody is running, across the street and there is a bus behind it, right? So describe this image. This image shows a person running across a busy street with cars and buses passing by. The person is wearing black clothes and has a backpack on their back. Uh, the image is taken from a surveillance camera and has a red, red circle around it. It's pretty accurate description, right? Now, we ask it, what do you think about the person's behavior? So as a language model, I do not have the ability to form opinions or emotions. However, that's, I think, the interesting part. Based on the image, it appears that the person is running across a busy street with cars and buses passing by. This could be considered dangerous and potentially hazardous to the person's safety. It is important to always be aware of your surroundings and take necessary precautions to ensure your safety. All right, here's another image. So an image of a boy looking at a uh, city, right? And then it gives a pretty good description. Then uh, they just ask, uh, do you have anything to say uh, to the young boy in the image, right? And uh, it actually says, I don't really have anything to say, but however, I can offer some general advice to young people who are looking out at the world before them. It is important to remember that the future is uncertain and there will be challenges and obstacles along the way. However, with hard work, determination, and positive attitude, you can overcome these challenges and it achieves your achieve your goals it's also important to remember that to take time to enjoy the present moment and to appreciate the beauty and uh the wonder of the worlds around you so keep in mind it uh started giving this advice based on a single image that was provided and um i, I would say it's, it's, it's a pretty uncanny and you can provide it uh, a picture of the food items and ask it how can I make this right but uh, frankly speaking just by looking at the examples that we just saw this is really nothing um, the, it, the model's abilities are uh, well beyond like just giving you recipes uh, for, for food items I also ran a couple of test cases uh, based on the uh, demo that they have provided. So for example, I uploaded this image and described this image. This image is of uh, a man in purple suit and baller hat, right? It actually recognizes pretty good. Smiling and looking directly at the camera. He is wearing a purple suit, uh, a baller hat and a red tie. I guess the tie is not really red. He has a mustache uh, and a beard. He's smiling and looking directly at the camera. All right, so here it didn't really, uh, I guess got it right 
for this specific image, it's just describing the same thing again and again. So sometimes it might have some uh, issues understanding the images that can happen. Now I uploaded another image. Um, so this is one of the thumbnails for a video that I made. Okay, so here is the description it came up with. The image shows two men in suits, one with a serious expression uh, and the other one with a smiling face. So not sure, I, I guess like it's talking about Biden to be smiling, Trump to be with a serious face. They are both wearing uh, ties and the one on the left is holding a briefcase. Okay, I don't really see any briefcase in here. The background is solid color with word, words 100% AI stomp. Okay, so written on it. So I guess like it did recognize uh, the text, but it missed a little bit. It's a very powerful model, I would say, uh, given that it's the first transpiration and it was just released. Uh, they will definitely improve on this model. They have a GitHub repo where you can actually go and download the model as well as the code on how to run it. In the subsequent video, I'm going to show you how to run this model locally. It's using Wakunia 13B, a uh, 13 billion parameter model. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't uh, forget to comment. If you have any questions, uh, give it a shot. It's a pretty nice demo, uh, but you might have to wait a little bit because it is pretty busy right now. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.